Welcome back. All right, quick little news of the day video for all you fine people watching on the internet. And uh, other various ways, I guess, other manners. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so Matias Ekholm. Uh, so we heard talk about how he didn't want to discuss a contract during the season, so they got it done before the season started. Uh, he will remain in Nashville. This contract kicks in this coming summer. Four-year extension, $25 million. That's a cap hit of $6.25 million. Considering he's currently 31 years of age, it's a decent deal. Uh, it'll bring him uh, to age 36, right, by the end of this. So he'll be winding down his career at that point. And again, it's Nashville, who have a long track record of excellent defensemen. And uh, Ekholm's just another one of those great defensemen. So I'm glad to see he's staying in Nashville. It's a good sign. And uh, hopefully Nashville gets off to a good start this year. Uh, in other signing news, Colton Sevier signs a one-year two-way two deal with the Edmonton Oilers. It's worth league minimum, $750,000 at the NHL level. Um, and so, yeah, Colton Sevier's in the lineup right now, especially with Zach Cassian currently on the IR with concussion uh, symptoms. Uh, so as long as he's in concussion protocol, Sevier's uh, likely got a spot there. I thought Sevier played well enough uh, in the games of, of the Oilers that I saw. So hopefully he sticks around. I've always been a fan of Colton Sevier. Uh, Evgeny Svechnikov also has signed a one-year deal with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, it's a two-way deal as well. $750,000 at the NHL level. So I thought Svechnikov too played well enough to, to get that contract. So some of the professional tryouts this year actually worked out. And it feels like it's more than usual. It feels like more of the tryouts this year actually made it. The weird part is some of the guys who got the tryouts like Svechnikov or even Chase on in Vancouver... Normal years, they would just get signed, you would think. So, yeah, um, I think with the salary cap being as it is and all the other uncertainty, they just waited till the last moment. But these guys are signed, and they're good to go to start the season. Dallas. So, one of the key things with Dallas this year is they need to stay healthy. And so, they're they're not. Uh, Blake Como, uh, Jason Robertson are both likely to miss tomorrow's opener. Como, good energy guy, third line guy, and Robertson who was the only one who got a first place vote for the Calder, uh, who was not named Kirill Kaprizov. So, uh, yeah, that, that does hurt Dallas if they're out for any period of time beyond uh, tomorrow. Uh, but they're, they're likely both out for tomorrow. Not much else is known other than that they're out for now. So, yeah, Dallas has to watch that injury bug because if, if it digs into this lineup... Um, and if, if the depth can't hold it up, then then it could be another long year for Dallas. Uh, good news for Bru Bruins fans today, as well as for Charlie McAvoy. So apparently they're close. There's there's work on a deal to be done between Boston and McAvoy. And it, it feels like a lot of these free agents and restricted free agents are getting signed now too. But that is standard. It is standard that GMs try to get this dealt with at the start of the year. Because if you wait until the end of the year... With unrestricted free agents, you're you're risking them walking away. And with restricted free agents, you're risking um, either Montreal or Carolina trying to pry the player away from you. So in Charlie McAvoy's case, Boston's going to want to lock him down long term, and he's going to get paid. Uh, I would I would think probably almost Seth Jones level money. But there's one caveat to keep in mind here: Boston players do take less money in order to prevent any kind of salary cap problems. So McAvoy may sign for a lot less than that nine and a half million that uh, that Seth Jones is going to make next year. And again, people will ask, how can Boston do this? It's an internal cap structure that the players agree to. They want to stay in contention for the Stanley Cup, and they understand that the more money they make, that the that extra couple of million they might make might cost that team a player. And especially when you've got multiple players taking a lot less money than they would make on the market you're able to have a better team with more depth. So uh, Boston, oddly enough, has been a team that struggled with their depth up front. So we'll see how things go this year. But McAvoy apparently is close. We we may have an extension to talk about with McAvoy uh, today or tomorrow. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And how much do you think McAvoy ends up getting paid? I think he's, he's going to get paid handsomely but probably not as much as he could make on the market or on an offer sheet. So let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.